On this episode of Trying Not to Sink, we are going to take this piece of walnut and turn it into an epoxy river table for our fly bridge. Let's get started. My name is Ed. I'm an ex-musician, turned politician, turned accountant, who now imagines himself a sea captain. This is Lynn. She's an ex-model, retired photographer, and the love of my life. Three years ago, we bought a boat. No experience and completely clueless. Since then, we have traveled over 10,000 miles along the Atlantic coast and the Bahamas. Join us as we continue the adventure, exploring exciting places, meeting new people, and having the time of our lives while trying not to sink. I purchased this piece of walnut from a lumber yard in Trenton, New Jersey uh, called Willard Brothers. And they specialize in exotic woods like this. In fact, it's the same lumber yard where we bought the elm uh, plank that we used for the countertop in our galley. Uh, it was a little bit pricey, cost about $300 but it's a very nice piece of wood. It's very flat. Um, it's walnut, which you know makes it even more expensive, uh, but it had all the characteristics that we wanted. And um, well, let's see how it comes out. So we're going for a 36 inch by 32 inch table, roughly. That's what we have now. Um, we're gonna put the river in the middle of the two, uh, the two uh, roll edges. Uh, anyway, they're cut. What I'm doing right now is I'm just sanding them down. I'm starting with like a 120, I'll go to 180, and then probably 220. I don't have to get really too fine on this because we're going to be pouring um, epoxy over the whole thing. And that'll, that'll give it the really smooth glass finish that I want. So I just need to get it relatively smooth, and then we'll seal it up after we get it uh, mounted together. So let me get sanding. Now I'm putting these uh, metal plates on uh, as extra support for the table, uh, on the bottom of the table. Um, I've seen them put river tables together plenty of times without doing this, but I'm a little concerned with how much motion we get on the boat and it occasionally being knocked really hard. So I figured I'd reinforce it with these metal plates. Uh, I'm drilling holes, pre-drilling and then putting in uh, coarse screws uh, just because I'm paranoid that I'm gonna crack the wood, so. That's what I'm doing now. And you're doing that on our fancy dining room table? Yep. This pool table cover is coming real handy. <laughs> I never use it in real life. I only use it when I'm using my pool table as a workbench. But yeah, we did have the table fall down, the other table. Yep. It's on the boat, fall down in rough seas. And uh, we just don't want this to crack or break in half once we do it. So I think that's a good idea. So it's a little bit different of a design. I in no way am an expert at doing this. This is just the way that I'm deciding to do it. I know there's a, probably a thousand different ways to put together a river table, but this is what we're doing. Now that I have the two pieces connected with these metal brackets, I'm going to silicone in, this is uh, like plastic molding. I'm going to fill the, um, the river section, this is the bottom. So I'm filling it, uh, blocking it with this. I'm gonna use some silicone to silicone it down. Uh, then I'm gonna flip it over and I'm gonna silicone on the other side too. The idea is to try to make this a, uh, a waterproof environment so that I can pour the, the resin in without it leaking out. That's the plan anyway, we'll see what happens. Okay. What kind of silicone is this? It's just 100% silicone, um, clear. So nothing special. Bathtub type or what? No, that would be white. Just pure clear silicone. Yeah. So I have it flipped over now and I'm running a bead of silicone down each side here. The silicone residue is there, it won't matter because uh, we're doing sand on the bottom, right? Yeah, With and it's going to be clear, even if it was going to be visible, but it shouldn't be because we are going to put a sandy beach bottom on this thing. 
And by the time I pull off this plastic, we're all done. What I am doing now is I'm just pouring a kind of a, a base layer um, to the river table. Uh, Lynn is going to put sand in and make a design and put some objects, but before she did that we wanted to make sure that we knew that we were getting resin all the way down to the bottom. Give it some glitz, glitz and shine. Just like we know the water <clears throat> hurts your eyes. Lynn wanted to personalize the table, so we added a compass, pieces of eight, and shells to the river. She sealed the compass prior to the main pour so that it would still function once the table was complete. I used a special resin for deep pours. Links to the products that we used in making this table can be found in the video description. We added a little blue dye to the resin to give it a Caribbean feel. I used a torch to pop any air bubbles. You can also use a heat gun, but I find the torch works much better. Okay, well, these plastic sheets that I use work out okay. Get a little bit sticking up top there. But for the most part, it seems to work out okay. And uh, nothing leaked. I mean, I saw a lot of videos on YouTube where people were building these giant frames because of leaking. And I'll tell you what, this worked out pretty good. I don't see hardly anything that came out, if anything at all. Um, so, okay, well, let me finish taking this apart, and then I think I'm going to have to get to sanding. So what I'm doing now is I'm just putting a thin coat of the epoxy all over the wood. To seal it in and what this is supposed to do is keep air bubbles from coming out of the wood so just a coat and then you you wait about four hours or so something like that I'll look it up and then uh, and then you do your pour coat so I'll be doing the pour coat a little later this afternoon So you think they're giving us yeah. yeah, so all those original things that we thought were bubbles are gone now. Good, good. Didn't she come out beautiful? Don't you love her? I love that the compass works. And I love that we have pirate money in it and a little jewel in the middle. And I love how the sparkles look, a little mermaid stuff going on there. And it also matches our lower helm table. 
I think it came out beautiful. It's really shiny. Now I have to go get some coasters. It's a little bigger than our other table, which I'm really happy about because our other table didn't have enough room for plates and the food in the middle. So this I'm psyched about. Um, now to figure out how we're going to get it up there. I guess that davit, that fixed davit is going to come in handy, don't you think? <laughs> See you next week. Roger out.